Hey everyone, today I'm going to actually show you Trend Micro Cloud One file storage security and how it can be used to protect your file object storage in multiple cloud providers such as Azure and AWS. This solution can integrate directly inside your cloud account. And you can easily do that by using the stack management section here. You can pick your cloud provider, AWS and Azure, which is in preview right now, and hit the deploy button. When you hit the deploy button, it's going to go ahead and take you through an easy to uh, use process of prompting the user to sign into their appropriate cloud account and deploy a CloudFormation template in AWS or an Azure Resource Manager template in Azure. When the customer hits the Launch Stack button here, it's going to go ahead and prompt the user to log into their AWS account and quickly create a stack. The customer can name the stack accordingly choose the bucket they wish to scan, and if they are using encryption keys, they're able to reference those values as well. That's pretty much it as far as creating the stack deployment. Once the stack deployment has been submitted, it will show up here in the console for the customer's account. All appropriate cloud resources will be deployed, such as the AWS Lambda functions, <coughs> SNS topics, and SQS queues. Once the solution is deployed, we recommend from a best practices standpoint to add a post-scan action. Post-scan actions can be referenced in our file storage security GitHub, and the suggested post-scan action to deploy, which deploys as a Lambda function, is the promotion or quarantine action. When a detection takes place, if the file is clean, it will move it into a promotion bucket. If the file has malicious content, such as malware, it will move to onto a quarantine bucket, thus protecting your downstream workflows. Let's see it in action. So if we look at our scan activity here, we can see when detections are coming in uh, to your uh, cloud account. Let's go ahead and test that in an AWS fashion. So I have three buckets here. I have a landing bucket where my files are being inspected and scanned as they land into the bucket, and I have a promotion bucket and a quarantine bucket. Let's open up AWS Cloud Shell and throw an iCard test file into our landing bucket. When we do that, we can go over to our landing bucket here and we'll see that the object has landed into the landing bucket. At this stage of the game, we're waiting for the Lambda function, the listing function, to fire and perform a scan action against our scanner stack that is deployed inside our customer's account. The great thing about the solution being deployed completely inside the customer's account is we have no worries on things like data sovereignty because nothing is leaving the environment. It is all scanning is taking place inside the customer's account. So we now look that we refreshed and we've seen that the object has now left uh, the landing bucket. So let's check our promotion bucket and see if it ended up there. Here we see a previous scanned file, a test file that is a clean file. So it didn't end up here, but let's go ahead and check out our promotion bucket. Each file that is scanned by the system will provide, uh, the, the solution will actually provide AWS tagging here and showing the scan date, scan result, in this case, no issues found, and the, if the file was scanned uh, successfully, and any detailed messages. Let's go ahead and go on upstream to our quarantine bucket and see if the file is here. It looks like it has. Let the I, we'll click the iCar test file, uh, file here, and we see that it is tagged appropriately. The date timestamp when it was uh, placed into the upstream inspection bucket, and the result set of this one is malicious and the file was scanned properly. So here you can see uh, in real time your files as they come into your protected buckets, the, the determination whether they're malicious or not, and now your downstream workflows, whether those are users subscribing to those buckets uh, directly, or if you've got downstream web applications, uh, they are now protected and they're not having malware uh, ingested into those environments.